Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to go over patch day. We're going to go through the patch notes uh, for the April 27th 2020 patch. Uh, we have a brand new patch coming to the game. I'm also going to do, be doing a state of the game uh, analysis as well here coming up so look forward to that video as well as talking about battlegrounds uh going over the q a from battlegrounds if you have not seen that so but let's go ahead and just jump right on over to discord uh here we'll look at discord right now uh it says hello dragon champions this week we're going to leave uh release a patch with some balance changes graphic improvements and other features here's what's coming to version uh 1.1.137 uh, and so we have balance changes uh, uh, and so Thelana's uh, base speed is going to be reduced by 6, buffs, base armor is going to be reduced by approximately 10%, buff shields are going to be reduced uh, approximately 10%, buffs dancing with the death passive ability, um, as well as increased dodge for 8% of each living demon in the party used to be 10, so that's going to be nerfed down a little bit. Season, the next season begins, so of season 3, uh, as I would call it, season of the hunt begins on May 4th. First, my mother and my mother-in-law's birthday, both of them, shout out to them, happy birthday on May 1st. My son is going to be May 2nd. It has been crazy, crazy, but hats, uh, shout out to both of them. Uh, I, I love them all very, very much. Happy, happy birthday if you are watching this. We have a new character coming to the game as a part of the new season, Count Delman. Uh, he's an order elf fighter, warrior, and bounty hunter. Uh, cutting blow, his first ability does 200. 170% physical damage to an enemy and a 70% chance to increase the cooldown of a random ability uh, for one turn. Seems pretty cool. Death. Uh, uh, Mark of Death, uh, the second ability has a cooldown of 1, uh, deals 380% physical damage to an enemy, inflicts Mark of Death for 3 turns. Mark of Death allows uh, you to attack opponent if it, as if it had taunt. Uh, the car target cannot get invisibility, and incoming damage to the target is increased by 15%. If you played something like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, this is basically like Death Mark. Um, very, very interesting ability. Very, very cool. Seems pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, um, and then uh, Snake Agility, his third ability is a first turn ability that he can use, gains dodge increase for two turns, recovers 25% turn meter, and applies critical damage uh, increase to all allies. So very, very interesting. And then his passive ability gives 500% penetration, and if Thelana is one of the allies, uh, him and her both get 15% physical damage increase. If Wonderlula is one of the allies, uh, they, him and Wonderlula get 15% critical uh, chance increase so very very interesting completing all daily quests now gives 150 experience now let's take a look at him real quick I'll pull him up here on the screen pretty i think he's the art's pretty good i like the art a lot um you know they're gonna give us now for completing all daily quests 150 experience 25,000 gold five corcrum uh hero stones and 30 auto battle auto battle tickets as a reward it used to be 20 so then we're going to get 10 more of those. I have about a half a bajillion of them. Um, if I look in here right now over at my campaign, I am still farming um, uh, Selena here. Not too much to go. 297 shards. Um, I've been uh, just free to play farming her and picking her up out of the event that just ended. Uh, in this event here, uh, as you can see, didn't do the purchase drag coins here. I did spend some drag coins, so I was able to get... I got up to about stage six, so that's not too bad. And then spend energy, I got all the way through, and I did all my dailies. So that's pretty good. And then I've been farming her um, as well. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then we'll continue to enhance the game's graphics, they say. Uh, updated Kara, Kara, uh, uh, updated Kara, Kelrian, Sharp, and Ren the Unseen have received a share of cosmetic improvements. So let's go take a look at those characters real quick to take uh, to just look at them. So we got Kara here let's see let's pull her up oh yeah look at look at that look at the that is nice look at she looks pretty good i mean i already thought the art was really good in this game but it looks really nice here very very nice improvement let's look at kelrian as well um i didn't pull these up you know, let's just take a look at him oh yes very nice very nice um and who was the other one sharp 
it's not too far off oh yeah look at that the blades are a little bit more glowy more texture um yeah look at that i like it i like it and then who is ren the unseen somebody i have not actually unlocked yet um and then yes all oh, the purple hue there a little bit more detail the eye color it's really nice so i yeah i'm very very impressed i think the art is definitely very well done certainly a lot better <laughs> a lot better than some other games i'm not gonna mention what they what they are but you know who i'm talking about um and then they also have some dynamic camera views for some of the uh a hero's abilities works on speed one and speed two can be turned off in the settings so let's take a look at the settings real quick um going over to extras uh, disable global track and or guild invitations right i'm not seeing all right i want to go ahead and download the full game i'm not seeing where we can uh look at that where we're actually uh turning that on and off so maybe it's not quite in the settings quite yet um but certainly some of the uh, dynamic characters i wish they would tell us which ones so we could go in there and look at them that would be kind of cool i'll take a look at that for you guys and take a look at it for the state of the game we're going to add team presentations to the intros before battle uh i do like this uh i think it looks cool i wish there was a way to skip through it that would be certainly nice um as you can see here i'm going to go into an arena battle real quick to show you how this what this looks like i'm sure you've already seen it certainly pretty cool Look at Kara, looks awesome. With the new update, she definitely looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down onto two real quick, and so we can see some of these character animations if any of them pull up. Uh, if you've been doing this mirror match, uh, for me, what I tend to do is I tend to go just kind of right after Kara. Um, she's a big damage dealer, and so that's kind of what I've been doing. I don't know what what you guys are doing, but that tends to be what I do. It seems to work be working out pretty well. Um, you know, if she if she can't cast, and then that's usually pretty good uh, for me. So we're not seeing a whole lot of improvement here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go after Trumgar, lock him down. So I, I really like this team. This team's been working pretty well for me in Arena. I have not been focusing too hard on Arena trying to move up, but the turn meter gain is pretty awesome. There's You can get a good turn meter train going. Um, and then once you get through... You know, once you get through here, you're you're pretty good, and then you can pop them all out of stealth, and then go right back after Kara. Boom, stunned, uh, and you're just you're 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 flying around, right? We've already killed, we've already killed, uh, you know, Trumgar. We're gonna get Kara out of here here in a second, and then we're gonna go right after more Doom. Um, no more Doom. Oh, he's got taunt. Well, we'll just dispel that. So one thing about using uh, Puncher Face in this particular lineup is that he will, using that ability is risky because you will end up with taunt on people you may not want taunt on. So just kind of keep that in mind. You know, so I am looking at the, the graphics look really good. Of course, we're playing this on my computer on blue stacks. Really, really nice. As you can see, we should be able to get right through here, right through this pretty, pretty easily. Um, are they going to kill my dude before I can get him, get him healed a little? Yeah, probably. It's okay. We'll just get some more turn meter and we'll go right after Shadar. We'll just stun Shadar there. I like his animation when he's down. Let's give a little heal. A little heal out and as you can see i think we're pretty well done here we got slinger we're gonna give some more turn meter we're just gonna go right after slinger and i think this is pretty well done um you know we only have the little demons left and so we'll just go ahead and put it on auto and uh, we'll just slow it down slow it down a little bit so you guys have something to look at and so uh and then they added new tournaments and events added new visual uh, effects for our unlocking premium battle pass so that'll be interesting i'll be buying the battle pass so that'll be good um as well and then they fixed some bug fixes uh for lake wa water off a of duck's back uh third ability is now working as intended uh so that's good and so that, a lot of really good stuff a lot of really good stuff there oh look at that Ooh, there you go so, so there's there was a dynamic uh there was a dynamic thing on shadar it kind of flipped it around and went right at him so that was kind of cool that was cool to see um and so that's really awesome i don't want to put, make this video particularly long uh there is an entire faq up on the 
forum right now on discord under the announcements it's on my channel as well link in the uh, video or in the description below if you are new around here hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing and i'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect